guys want to give the Lord some praise? Yes, Lord. Thankful. Hallelujah. Thankful. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Thankful that he blessed us with a good trip to Missouri. Get some rest. Well, not rest, because it's work always when you're camping. Um, my brother came in and he brought, he bought, they bought food, brought it out and cooked food and really just done sin. But he kept talking about church. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> you know, and he kept questioning things and bringing up things. And he's, you can tell he's like searching and looking. And well, what about this? And what about that? And the whole time he's talking, all I can think is I'm so thankful. Hallelujah. I'm not searching anymore. Yes, Lord. I'm not Hallelujah. looking anymore. Although there's many. Yes. There's only one. Only one. Hallelujah. And uh, he's been listening to some preacher been talking about um, the Catholic Church, the mama of them all, and all this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know. And I'm like, wow. And uh, But anyway, I don't know. It's just like we had a lot of conversation about stuff, but it just blessed my heart that <coughs> there's something going on. You know, it's like you can feel that stirring. He, He's searching and looking, and we talk about this church. He said, I, I just don't see that. He said, all these people, like, all these people saying they're Christians in these churches and supposed to be with God and everything. He said, I do see them taking down, saying, well, we don't accept this homosexuality, and we're going to accept this, and we're going to do this, you know. And I'm like, said, I said, you know, Donnie, I really think you'd appreciate Brother Adams' teaching and his preaching because we ain't taking down. You know, I said, we ain't taking down, we ain't accepting that stuff. And I said, if it comes down to it, I said, he already said, what, you got to be ready. You got to set your mind to be ready for what's coming. Yes, you know, and I said, we're, we're taught that. We're planted in that. We're planted in the scriptures. We're planted on, on the things of the of what the Bible says. You know, we ain't going with what man says and flowing with all of that. So anyway, it just made me have a more gratefulness and more thankfulness in my heart. Um, for that, that I know, that I know, that I know. It's a revelation. You know, it's absolutely a revelation. No matter what goes on, you can be hurt, wounded, That's up, right. down, That's right. valley, That's right. mountains, oh. whatever. whatever. But when you get down to it, oh. hallelujah, whatever. it's the word of God. My relationship is based on the word of God. Yes. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, I'm more and more grateful for that. Thank you, Jesus. I went through growing pains. I was talking to somebody yes. the other day, but yeah, you go through some things. Yes. You got growing pains when you yes. learn. People ain't up here. They're still people, but you know, all in all, I tell you, when them, them, them brothers came here while back, and that man, I've heard it, I've heard it, I've heard it, but when that man said, got up and said, you people are bone of my bone, all right. and flesh of my flesh, yes. hallelujah, I tell you, that struck something, that's like struck gold in me, and I know, I, I love this place, I love these people, I love y'all, it just, it just done something to me, even in a deeper way. That this is flesh of my bone of my bone and Thank flesh of my flesh. And I appreciate the Lord. He washed over us the whole trip. Gave us cloud covering. You know, because we didn't have air in either truck. So we took both trucks and didn't have air. But he washed over us. And even coming back, 70 degree weather. Had a few minor bumps in the trucks, you know, and all this. But nothing that Chris couldn't handle. And he right. even kept saying, he said, but it's good. It's all good. And he said, I'm just grateful. I'm thankful. Hallelujah. So I appreciate the Lord. And I appreciate this place. And I'm grateful for a revelation. Talk about that power. And I'm just so grateful today. And a uh, man that we... Pray for for the long. I got an update. And the wife said that he was just tired. He was ready to give up. And I said, that's when God going to step in because he wants to get the glory. Yeah. That's it. He got the call on Thursday. And usually when they get along, if they get two longs, they separate them and give them two different people. He got two longs. Mm. Wow. And it was a young person. And the lung was bigger than they needed. So he has plenty of room to breathe. And she said, a double lung coming in is rare. I said, that's God. <laughs> that is God. And she said, he's up. He's off the ventilator. She sent me a video. He walking. So you said, the crippled man walk? <laughs> Talking about the power. I am so excited. 
you know, for God touching me and asking him to pray for him and to see it unfold, that is God. That is awesome. She says she hadn't felt so much peace in so long. She said, I feel so close to God. She said, I just can't explain it. But I just want to get up and just praise God and thank him for her. You know, him asking for one and God give him two. And I can testify to that because I'm looking for my house. I didn't care about a garage because I've been shoveling snow and knocking snow off the car for years. It really don't make no difference to me. He gave me a two-car garage. So I know when you ask for something, God, he specialized. He don't, he, sometimes he give you more. But I'm just, I'm just so thankful. That, you know, to see God manifest and see him work, that is God on rare double long. God specializes. I'm thankful to that. Well, we're grateful for the name of Jesus. Grateful for the power that it, it is contained in his great name. The Bible says that when he got up, that the Bible declares that he had all power, both in heaven and in earth. Praise God. So we're thankful today that we're not, a, we're not serving a power Less Savior because he got all of it. The Bible says in Romans 13 and referencing, of course, uh, God the Father in that in that setting, he says that uh, that uh, uh, there's power 13 and one Romans 13 and one, the powers that be is ordained. Of God, let every soul be high, subject to the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. And the power that be are ordained of God. And so, uh, God the Father, which is the originator of all power, uh, transferred and delegated all power to his son. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Praise God. As we serve a Savior today that has all power. No, no limit. Uh, he has complete authority over whatever it is that we're that we're facing. If his choice is to deliver, he will deliver. Amen. Amen. He's still sovereign. He still has the uh, the right not to, amen, because that's again that part of his sovereignty. He has the right to do what he wanna do. And who can uh, stay his hand or say uh, this or that about him. Uh, I think it was Job uh, 11, somewhere in that neighborhood where it talks about him having, uh, uh, if he shut up, cut off, ender, uh, 11, Job 11 and verse uh, 7 says, Can thou by searching find out God? Can thou find out the Almighty unto perfection? It is as high as heaven. What can thou do? Deeper than hell. What can thou know? The measure thereof is longer than the earth and broader than the sea. If he cut off, shut up, or gather together, then who can hinder him? For he knoweth a man, he seeth wickedness also, will he not then consider it? In other words, the 10th verse talks about God. If he cut off and shut up and gather together, who can hinder him? God can do whatever he wants to do. Right. Right. Amen. He, he has that uh, unlimited call it omnipotent, but it's unlimited power. That's why when you find uh, from time to time uh, Israel got in trouble with God uh, because they uh, limited God and his ability. 
that scripture in Psalms uh, 78 and uh, verse 41, verse 40, I'll start there. It says, how oft did they provoke him in the wilderness and grieve him in the desert? Yea, they turned back and tempted God and did what? Limited the Holy One of Israel. God don't like to be limited. He don't like a limit to be put on him. Because there is no limit of what he can do. I often time I say, I know you will, sir, if you, I know you can, sir, if you will. Amen. I, I don't want to act like he just got to do it because I said it. Even though his word says certain things to us, he don't have to. He's only bound by what he want to do. Praise God. Somebody say, well, he's bound by his word. Yes, he's bound by his word, but he is his word. Amen. And if he want to shut off, cut off, gather together, who can hinder him? One place he said he's of one mind. Praise God. And that's his. Yes. That's his. Well, we're thankful that we can put, invoke his presence. We can uh, get his attention. It's like that woman uh, came to Jesus who wanted his son to sit on the right hand or on the left hand in Matthew 20. And uh, 20. And uh, that's <coughs> the mother of the sons of Zebedee, the children, the mother of the children of Zebedee. The Bible says in the 21st came worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him. When well, they're coming and they're desiring a certain thing of him. Uh, he said unto her, what wilt thou? And she said unto him, grant that these two my sons may sit the one on the right hand and the other on the left in thy kingdom. But Jesus answered and said, you know not what ye ask. Ye, are ye able Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They say unto him, we are able. And he said unto them, ye shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on the right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. Amen. So God has prepared certain things. <laughs> this word there, uh, he, he, he had predetermined. He has already made ready for who it is that's going to sit on his right hand. Now we're working to be in the first resurrection. We're not even talking about final resurrection. Our aim is first resurrection. But at the end of the day, guess whose job, who, who, who choice it is? It's God's. It's God who's going to rule with him in his kingdom. Praise God. It's not, it's not, it's not based on. It's, it's our responsibility to do what he said do. That's, that's all our responsibility is, is to do what he says do. I know we have Revelation 20 and uh, uh, where he says, uh, blessed and holy is he that has part 20 and 6. Revelation 20 and 6 says uh, that we're blessed and holy is he who has part in the first resurrection for on such the second death has no power but they shall be priests of God and shall reign and shall uh, shall uh, shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. And so here is a, 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 a position of being blessed and holy as he that has part in it. Praise God. I, our uh, <coughs> target today is to be a part of the first resurrection. Yes, sir. And at the end of the day, we're looking for that reward. But it's still come up to God who's going to be in that cabinet. You know, this is a cabinet group here. This is an elite group here. And most of religion today just thinking everybody going. And they may show up somewhere. Final resurrection. But here it is. It's what God has prepared for us. 
And that's why when we come to God, we want to make sure we don't come haughty. We don't come with some kind of attitude that you've got to do. Is that, Lord, I thank you for allowing and permitting. Praise God. Because what I deserved at the very best was death. But he's given me life for my soul. Oh, how good it feels. Love, peace, and joy are the fruits of yield. Though the outer man must die. This is my earnest cry. Give me life, life, life for my soul and soul. We serve a God that has all power. He's not limited. And this is why we're thankful to be a part of what he's doing. That's right. That's right. We're, we're part uh, of what, what God is doing on the earth. And, you know, people fit in God's plan all kinds of ways. Listen to me. People fit in the plan of God all kinds of ways. We just want to make sure we're fitting in and we want to fit in this plan that he has for the first resurrection people. That's why we keep emphasizing and encouraging uh, to, to get in and have the relationship. Have that relationship that is so important to have. Amen. I'm telling you, it's, it's nothing like having a real relationship with God. I can't emphasize that enough. I can't talk about a whole lot of the stuff too much more because what's going to matter is that relationship at the end of the day. Only what you do for him and what kind of relationship you have with him. He, uh, John, beloved, you know, it's, it's like uh, uh, Peter one time, God told Peter to do something. And uh, he wanted to know what John going to do. We ain't got no little kind of, we ain't got no people around here wondering what somebody else is going to do. But he said, if, 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 if I tell him to stay here till I come, what is that to you? You know, you just follow what I said. Amen. And that's what we want to, we want to find out uh, uh, what God wants from me. Amen. And you can't find out what God wants from you if you don't have a relationship with him. Yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking for that. If I look at that verse 20, uh, John 21. John 21. And uh, let's start here. Uh, this is after Jesus. Uh, God was telling uh, Peter that when he, he walked the way he wanted to walk. Let's start with verse 18. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, when thou was young, thou girdest thyself and walked whether thou wouldest. And this don't mean that because you was 10, 11 years old. This means because of your immaturity. See, immaturity is uh, something about immaturity is that you feel like you can just do what you want to do. You don't realize that you're not your own, that you've been bought with a price. See, when you when you become the mature, you realize you don't even belong to yourself. You're not your own. You realize that. But when you're young, you feel like, I, I do what I want to do. I'm, I, you know. But when you get old, you said when you're young, you gird yourself, you put on what you want, you walk the way you want to walk. But when thou shall be old, a mature, he says, thou shall stretch for thy hands. See, that's what mature people do. They recognize, I can't even walk without you holding my hand. They recognize that. Immature people just think they can do it all. They, they, they feel they, they're weeds. They feel like they can just do it. But mature people realize they can't do nothing. Without him, I can. See, them scripture come alive, John 15, without Jesus and without me, you can do it. And that, that scripture is alive to mature people. They realize nothing they can do without God. And uh, he says, uh, when you get old, another stretch forth a hand, another shall gird thee, dress you, and carry thee whether thou wouldest not. See that control? You, you relinquish. You get old, and another will lead you. God began to lead you, when, and, 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 and when he was trying to lead you when you was young, you wouldn't follow, but when you get old, you you stretch forth your hand. And he began to lead you where you where you wouldn't go, where you wouldn't go. 
And that was signifying literally his death, but spiritually our death. And at, at the end of the day would be our natural death. And uh, when he had spoken this, he said unto him, follow me. Praise God. And then Peter turning about, seeing the disciple, this is why I went there, seeing the disciple whom Jesus did what? Whom Jesus loved following. Uh, which also leaned uh, on his breast at supper and said, Lord, which is he that betrayed thee? Peter, seeing him, said to Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? See, see, he, he, you just can't worry about the neighbor. No. Amen. This is what relation does. Relationship Make sure that you keep it intact. See, I can't worry about Brother James's terror relationship in that sense of the word. Being my position, I worry about all that, you know, but I mean, not worry, but it's concern. But I gotta make sure I got me and Sister Adam's relationship intact. Because that's that relationship. Are you following me? Some folks are always off in other folks' business and don't have theirs together. And here John is worrying about Peter. I mean, Peter worrying about John. I'm just using this as a natural example to show he wanted about him. Jesus said unto him, 22nd verse, if I, if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. That means, as you've heard me say for uh, whoever been here, however long you've been here, is that you need to Worry about your relationship and your fellowship with Christ and don't worry about everybody else's. You know what I mean? When I say that, people sometimes forget. What I'm saying is that you, that don't mean you don't pray for other people. You don't, but you got to make sure that your relationship is right. It's too many people that be in other folk business and they don't have their own together. That's right. And we don't want that to happen, do we? No. no, we don't want that to happen. We want to make sure that we're in the right. We 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 got our relationship. And worry about Peter. God already told me what He want me to do. When God told me to build His church, I can't be worried about what uh, 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 Deacon Fork or uh, uh, Bishop uh, Spoon is gone doing. I can't be worried about them. Praise God. I, I got to. Uh, make sure that I'm doing what he told me to do. That's right. He told me to build him a church. So I have to stay focused. And when you lose focus, you lose direction on what you're supposed to yes. be doing. That's right. Praise God. And somebody else, well, they, look what they're building. Look what they're doing. That's 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 all good and dandy. Look what that man got ten thousand dollars. Somebody else got a football stadium. That's all good and dandy. But what he told me to do. That's what I want to be found doing. That's right. That's right. Foxes had holes and the birds of the air had a nest, but the Son of Man didn't have nowhere to lay his head. Praise God. They Are they willing to follow the Lord whithersoever he goeth? Is he willing to talk about uh, uh, that we're not standing for the immoralities? So I'm just compromising. A lot of other things take place, but we got to be willing to uh, do what he told us to do. Right. Praise God. And so uh, God is is uh, uh, of one mind. He's working to, of course, bring uh, uh, people into a, a close knit relationship, and uh, we got to make sure that we're building right? <clears throat> that we're building properly. Every step, every every nail that we're driving, uh, that is is in the right place and. It's being driven properly. Because uh, of the close of age, everything needs to be intact. Amen. Everything needs to be right. We want to make sure that whenever God called my name, yes. that I'll be ready when he called my name. Amen. 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 I'll, be, I'll be in the place. And uh, that my relationship is with that one that has everything. He has the last say about what I'm going to do. Amen. Amen. And... and uh, we don't want to assume like Job that we had that, that we know him. Job assumed it. Job said, I, I had heard of him with my ear, but now I seen for myself. 
The process will cause you to know God. Yes, that's it. That's it. The course that God has on causes us to know. And yours may not be mine and mine may not be yours. Right. But at the end of the day, we all wind up at, at the same place. Yes, yes, Praise God. And that's why we want to make sure that we're praying for everyone that's going through. Right. Praise God. Praying that God will assist and... Uh, and and, 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 and and help them to make it through that journey. Because I don't know what the end of that journey is. Right. I don't know what the end of anybody's journey is. Amen. I don't even know what the end of my journey is. I have hope of it. Oh, you're hope. That's right. yeah. Amen. I have hope of uh, finally standing in the first resurrection. Amen. Having the, uh, on top of Mount Zion, Revelation 14 and 1. Stand on top of Mount Zion with the Father's name written in my forehead. Praise God. That my mind cleaned up, my sight cleaned up, everything about it cleaned up and ready to go with him. These are they that follow the Lamb with us wherever he goes. See, we can check ourselves, can't we, by these words. Yes, sir. Amen. Am I, are, am I right now following the Lord with us wherever he leads me? He leads me by the scriptures, by the word of God, by the spirit of God. See, but the Revelation 14 said that, that 14 and 1 said, And lo, I looked, and there was a lamb that stood on top of Mount Zion with a hundred and forty-four thousand. Yes, Amen. <clears throat> they, they were standing on top of Mount Zion with, uh, with the Father's name, nature, character, written in their forehead. That's what we're doing here. When we come here, we're getting his name written in our mind. We want to get his name written indelibly in our, in our mind. And I heard a voice from heaven, a voice of many waters, a voice of great thunder, and I heard a voice of harpers harping with their harps. I want to take time with all that tonight. They sung as it were, you saw before the throne and before the four beasts, the elders, and no man could learn that song but 144,000 which were redeemed from, from the earth. Everybody can't learn this song. Everybody can't get in harmony with this song. See, we want to get in harmony with this song. We can sing this, this song of the old and the new covenant. Amen. Amen. Moses and the Lamb. We want to get it, and we want it in complete harmony. Because there, it's, not out of, it's not out of sync. We get out of sync, but it's not out of sync. That's right. we, want to, we want to harmonize with it. Amen. These are they which were not defiled with women, spiritually or naturally. For they are virgins. They are they which follow the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth. These are people that is getting tuned in that when God said turn, we turn. Amen. We ain't fussing with him, arguing with him, trying to ask why I got to turn. We're not saying, he said go dip in Jordan sometimes to be clean. We ain't saying why I got to dip in Jordan. Why I'm not an a, a Arab, a, a Damascus, of a, all these, why do I got to dip in this one? We just said, the Lord said dip. Let's find out what he wants me to dip for. They're just following me. They don't recognize him. They got relationship. They know it's him. And so they just follow. Whithersoever he goes. Praise God. He's been a few places too. He, 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 he got mountaintops. He got valleys. He goes in different places. When you follow the Lord. And uh, he was redeemed from among men, being first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. And, and in their mouth was found no guile. For they are without fault before the throne of God. Praise God. No tricks. Hey, God. We get all the tricks out of. All the decor and craftiness, subtlety. Amen. Get all the serpent nature out of it. And old Flip used to say, what you see is what you get. You know, it ain't nothing, it ain't got to look for something else because what you see is really what it is. There's no, no decoy, no mascara, no fake. It's right, this is it. Yeah. Isn't that, won't that be a, a beautiful place? 
You get for everything somebody say, you, you, and you know there ain't nothing else to it is pure. Amen. Ain't no other, ain't no, ain't nothing else sliding around. No other purpose in mind, but yes. no nothing else, no motive, nothing else. Is, this is it. Praise God. This is this is this is this is the the aim. This is what we're going after. Praise God. These following the Lamb, as God told Peter to follow me. You follow me, and whatever else, just follow me. Because his his end. We use that scripture this weekend, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. He know the thoughts he thinks towards us, don't he? Yeah. Praise God. And and his thoughts for us and and towards us to give us an expected end. Praise God. Jesus, uh, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace. Not of evil, to give you an expected end. God has an, got some expected end for us, expectation for us, hope. Amen. Uh, something there live, uh, something that uh, here I hope we're longing for. This is what I'm longing for. This is what I'm longing for. And let me tell you the truth. This is what I wasn't longing for. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. This is not what I've, I've made my life. Because it's definitely, I've said over the years, this definitely wasn't because of a living. <laughs> this definitely wasn't because of a living. And yes, this is the vineyard. I eat out the vineyard. But this wasn't it. Praise God. God bless my hand. God bless me to be able to do things. But I'm here today because he put something in me. And I'm not doing it against my will. I fell in love with this wonderful God. This Savior. That's right. And it ain't a chore. Amen. Amen. Paul says to him in Ephesians 4, he said, I, Paul, a prisoner. That word there, bond slave. That is not one that's held against his own will. That's one held because he wants to be held. Thank God. And, and, and he has that ear nailed to the doorpost and and he put that ring ear in his uh, ring in his ear, yes. and when they see him, they know this slave here is not one that he has to be. It's one because he want to be. Yes. Praise God! I'm here because I want to be. Not that I had to want to be from the beginning, but he put the want to be in me. Yes. I want to give him all the praise. Yes. You didn't have the want to be. He put the want to be in you, and now you want to be. Yeah. <laughs> For if him that worketh in you both the will and the do yeah. of his good pleasure. Yeah. Praise God. See, he, he deserves something from that. Yeah. Oh, he deserves, he gonna get it too. He gonna get some accolades. He gonna get the praise. It's gonna be a, a sincere, the true worshiper gonna worship him in spirit and truth. Praise God. Yeah. Because of uh, this, this God that we recognize that he has everything that we need. And if, if he want to do it, he will. And if he don't do it, he don't have to. But he's still God and he don't change. I hear you, Lord. He, Shadrach them said, look, he says, uh, look. He said, God we serve, he's a strictly living. And if he don't, that doesn't mean he's not able. That's right. That's right. We still gonna serve. Yeah, we're gonna serve. Can you see? We got pictures here. We got uh, uh, examples in the old book and in the new book of people serving God. Yeah. Not based on God. You gotta give me a new pair of shoes. If you don't give me a new pair of shoes, I yes. wanna serve you. Yeah. 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 If he don't deliver. We know he's still able. Yes. It's just his choice to let us go this way. We're still going directly into his presence. Yes. Amen. Amen. And wait until that day come. Yes. Praise God. Because of <clears throat> the will of God. And so we want to make sure that we are uh, uh, keep this constant. That we keep these things uh, uh, in, 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 uh, intact. Our relationship intact. And, and, and for you that don't have a relationship with God. You get a relationship with God. 
though you have a partial relationship in uh, in larger coats. Yeah. Uh, 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 make room for him. Uh, evict other things and allow him to come in. Praise God. You got to evict some things. Some things is not allowing God to come in. God won't come in because of that. But you move it out the way and God won't feel more comfortable there. Yeah. Praise God. So he don't want to be neglected in second put down second and third. Why would he when he's the first of everything? Amen. And you'll find out that he has great things. A word came to me this morning. I was, and it, I was just trying to follow the spirit. But I better, I better give this word here. And uh, I had to come and get a dictionary because I couldn't uh, uh, to get it here. And the word was dissembled. Dissembled. Yeah, the few scriptures that talks about this symbol. And I'm changing tracks somewhat. This is still, when you have a proper relationship, you don't dissemble anyway. And I want to make sure I give this in case this is happening. At least I'll be clear of my responsibility. Amen. 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 But this word just came, it's one word, it's dissembled. It just came to my mind this morning. And uh, I just looked it up just a moment ago here. In Proverbs 26 and 24, uh, <clears throat> it says, uh, he, that hateth, he that hateth dissembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit within him. When he speaketh fair, believeth him not. For there are seven abominations uh, in his heart. Amplifies and burning lips, uttering insincere words of love, and wicked heart are like an earthen vessel covered with the scum thrown off from the molten uh, silver, making it appear to be solid silver. In other words, it's the rubbish off of it. It ain't the sincere. Sincerity. And uh, it talks about a dissembler. He dissembled. He's talking about this kind of man, a talebearer. I think it goes up back up here, verse 22. The words of talebearer in the womb, they go down into the innermost parts of the belly, burning lips and a wicked heart are like the pot shirts covered with silver draw. And he that, and he hated, let's talk about the Lord, dissembled, dissembled with his lips and layeth up his seat within him. But again, this is referencing, this word dissembling is referencing insincere words. Insincere words. Disguise. Amen. Disguise. Uh, hypocrisy. You know, it's, 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 it's not words that is sincere. Uh, Yes, uh, 26, Psalms 26 and verse 5. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissimilars. This is referencing, get that word, did we get it further? 26 and 5, 26 and 4, excuse me. Yeah, to, to veil from sight, that is to conceal, uh, any way blind, dissimilar, hide some secret, it ain't, you know. We just got through talking about uh, uh, the ones that are gonna be on the Mount Zion won't have any guile, won't trick, no decoy. And uh, this, this, this dissimilar, it's, it's a word there that uh, referencing uh, hypocrisy, not, <coughs> Uh, words of uh, uh, a truth. Yes, sir. A word of truth. And uh, we don't want to be found uh, being in that kind of category. Yeah. 
yes, it's a hypocrite. That's the, you know. Excuse me. Hmm? Are secrets negative? Is secrets negative? Is secrets bad? Uh, well, this 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 here is not being clear. If I if I come to you with something and I'm telling you something different, this is that I'm not. It's a secret. That's not the proper way to say that. If the motive behind it is not clean. Right. It's hiding. Right. You're blind. You're not coming clean. Right. See, people that don't have no guile, they come clean. Sincere, they dissemble it with their lips. Not true. They, 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 they bring division. That's right. You see. Like Absalom. Yeah. Absalom's all of I was king. You know. And and these kind of things works in our uh, in a, in our spirit. We can work in our spirit, and we just gotta. We want to make sure that we're not allowing that, if Amen. that is the case. Amen. Amen. We don't want to find ourselves in doing that. Amen. We want to make sure we're building. That we're building the house, not dissembling the, right. the house. He says, "I have not sat with vain person, neither will I sit with dissemble." I ain't gonna sit with somebody that's trying to dissemble. We talk. Uh, about building the house. A wise woman does what? Yeah. Uh, build the house. But a foolish woman lucks it down with her hand. Yes, is that word the same or similar to disassembly? Well, disassembly, uh, like the, it probably. The, <coughs> the uh, We pull that word. We did we put that word up there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we just gave that. Yeah. Uh, look for that one dissembling. We just gave that one a minute a moment ago. It should. It should uh, have the same thing. All right, uh, Proverbs 26 and 20, 24, 26, 24. Pull that word up. Dissemble it, not only dissembler, but dissemble it. Uh, it is to, uh, to look to scrutinize, look intently at, uh, to acknowledge, to be acquainted, uh, go on down, just to dissemble, okay, uh, to dissimulate, that is, as if uh, to be disowning, uh, estrange, pain, self to uh, feign, f false self to another, uh, and, uh, and so it goes on to uh, again to bring about a false pretense. What your what your appearance are. This similar shit. Yeah, she can bring it up. In the, they want the English definition. Just remember, sometimes the English it doesn't do the same. Yeah, that's what it is. It's it had any false way. I'm not done with this symbol yet. That version there is showing us that it means to act falsely. And to bring, and, and acting falsely is bringing a a division. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That's right. you know, and I won't sit with people that will dissemble or Amen. and fake or phony. Yeah. 
that's represented in the city. And uh, that uh, to conceal one's true motive. Yeah. So these are the, this is what it represents. Miss, uh, uh, I forgot what it was, old covenant, she came in there all disguised. She, and the prophet said, come on in here, Miss uh, Jeroboam. Jeroboam, come on in here. She tried to come in. You know, she was. And that's why we, we have to be careful. See, because we could be acting or uh, fang, in a fang way, in a false way. And, and we don't, of course, want to be acting like this is what we're doing and we're not doing it. Right, right, right. Amen. You so can be know. fake and false and phony and really ain't behind what God is doing. <laughs> talking about relationship and what we were talking about earlier, having that relationship. We, we talked about the seven. Uh, Cleanse not set from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit. Was someone was that something some would know that they're working in? Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so so somebody good. just could be working yeah. and not know they're working in. Well, I, I will give somebody who's not been taught that. But nobody around right here can get away with that. <laughs> You've been here any time, you can't get away with that. That you've been taught the Word of God. You've been taught the basic Bible things. You've been taught Matthew 5, 6, and 7, 1 Corinthians 13. You, uh, you know, taught uh, Proverbs 6, thank God, hate. So, you know when you, and you know what God is. You know that when you slide up somebody, you got some intent. You got some other motive. You know, even if you ask a question with the wrong motive, that's God. Amen. If you ask a question, not really wanting the question, but to try to, like they did to Jesus, they came to tell Jesus. Moses says this, leading out. That was misleading. That was God. So, I would give that to just any, that, you know, some baby just walked in the door. <clears throat> but no one here. That word came to me this morning, and I kept preaching this seminar. I kept trying to find that word that I kept looking for, and I just got it when I came here. So let me see your concordance. I didn't take the time, I guess, earlier to look and make sure I could find that word. Pardon me, huh? Well, I just said I didn't take the computer. You got to still spell it right. Yeah, <laughs> dissimilar. And, you know, uh, and I kept spelling it in different ways and then getting it up come up. So I just looked at it and then when I saw it in the Bible. Some things come to your mind, they got to be in the Bible. Amen. If it ain't in the Bible, then I can allude to it, but I can't. But the Holy Ghost, which I knew was the Lord speaking to me, but I wanted to affirm. And that's all it said. I ain't trying to make no more or less out of it. Amen. In fact, I'm through. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Romans 12 and 9. Amen. All right. Romans 12 and 9. This simulation. Yeah. Yeah. That love be without dissimulation. A whore which is evil. Do that which is good. Pardon me. Pull that word up. Yes. Yeah. To un disassemble uh, without dissimulation. The hypocrisy. Unfair. Yeah. Undisguised. I'm not trying to mislead you. What you say is what you get. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
spelled That's the same. That's the same one. They, well, they came in all. They came into December. So they could bring. That's the same thing. They would bring in. The, you can bring that word up. That's the same word. It's just a symbol. Same idea. Cool. Always that means to act hip -hop, hip hypocritical. To concert with. Yes. Well, your yeah, actions is to, again. See, so many things is not just what you say, you even act it. See, this is what the first resurrection entails. No guile was found nowhere around. Me. You know, every, they got folks going out here, going to heaven, all kind of ways. Why would you want a snakish, guilish, that word? Okay. <laughs> he got he, he getting all the serpents out. Yeah, get it out. You see, when it's just to just to to act in and and and, and realness and uh, to speak the truth in love. Amen. You know, and me being able to receive the truth in love, Man. if it's the truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If somebody walk up to me and tell me something the truth, even though it hurts me, cut me, blueness of the wound cleanses away evil. Wow. Yeah. All right. I ought not to fall out with them and get yep. all whatever. I always say, thank you, Lord. You love me enough to cut me that deep. Yeah. 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 You know. And then the person that delivered the message ought to have it. God will give them enough grace to say it and do it in the right spirit. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Amen. This is first resurrection stuff. <clears throat> this is just not this whole greasy stuff of just going sliding through anyway. <laughs> now, now, if there's anybody happen to be here, I'm just. That word came to my mind. I'm just delivering it just in case. Amen. That one word came to me while I was working out. <laughs> it's similar. Work it out. Stop speaking in tongue. It's similar. I know. I know what just some passed through my mind. I got a little working out. Feel the Holy Ghost. See, you you get a relationship. Amen. <laughs> I wasn't going to bring all that into it, but. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's similar. It's similar. That's not, if that's us, is that us, let's not, let's repent of it now and cleanse ourselves and run on. That's right, amen. Because God took enough time to go out. Yes, he did. Speak a word. Amen. Hey man, I didn't know I was going to really deal with it tonight because of the way the service is going. You know, I'm trying to make sure I don't. I said, just in case. That's just not one of the words that you would normally think of. Hey, no, no. <laughs> not a word that just comes to your mind, you know. I, you know you know how large my vocabulary is. That's too small of a word for it to be coming to my mind. All right, Lord, be magnified. Glad to have Sister Gillespie here with us already. Amen. 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 Sister Tree and uh, Lakeisha being here with us tonight. Glad to have her back here with us again tonight. Amen. Hope she's doing better. Amen. Amen. Doing our prayers. Amen. Amen. We just uh, thankful for another Tuesday night. Let's give, give us a song or something. Yeah.
So you're good, Hanson? Yeah. Good. 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 Good.